This car started because I wanted the bumper for that car. Crazy verbal? Crazy verbal. Do, do we think we think that's a good deal? We got a working car, that's for sure. All right, so good morning and welcome to today's video. Duarte woke me up abruptly telling me we're going to Disney World. We're probably not going to Disney World. He told me get in the truck and we're going somewhere. Let's go find Duarte. Oh, you said Disney World. Disney World, the cars, baby. Little secret mission before everybody's up. Hit up Joel last time. Was like, Joel, be ready first thing in the morning before the the boys come in. We have a little secret mission. We're gonna go look at some cars. You know, if you haven't been following Adam's page, we've been having a ton of fun with the E36s. So I thought, what's better than one is getting two. One is good. Everybody can have fun, but it's not gonna be enough because everybody wants to drive. So let's get two of them. So we're gonna go look at a few cars. Hopefully one of them is the right one for us. And let's do this. So we're here with Brian. What's up guys? Thanks for having us over here. Anytime man. We're looking for BMWs. Yes, I e heard you guys. E36s. We're on some E36 freaking escapade right now. Yeah, I know. I've seen a couple of them popping up on the on the last couple videos. Yeah, um, so I know that you're the guy with all the older cars, E36, E46, E30. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, oh, parts cars, cheap, cheap uh, E46, E36s. As you know, uh, E36s are becoming like the new 240, so a little harder to find than like the E46 or some newer chassis, but you know, they still exist. We still got them. Cool, so you got a couple options for us? It's just E36, no no E46. I mean, what do you have for E46? Um, I know Duarte would probably, maybe he's interested, but let's so, just look at it anyways. I mean, this is this is kind of like standard of what you'll find here uh, on a resale, like basically an affordable drift car that has seen the proper part. This car is fitted with, uh, it's basically a ZHP driveline swap with the FDF Ultra Mantis kit, uh, BC coils, 330 rear end automatics. The automatic axles are stronger. It has like a stage three, four eBay clutch in it. It also has the M50 manifold done right with the ported head. Something like this is a little bit on the higher side, like uh, probably in like the, six to eight range mm -hmm. um just granted all the parts and time that's gone into you know engine out reseal so it has the thousand dollar achilles oil pump upgrade oh, with really? the welded in oh, uh, baffle wow. in the pan that's worth it um it has you know when the clutch was done the rear main seal was done the mm -hmm. drive shaft was serviced the rear subframe is reinforced and all the bushings are done so like a car like this you just get in that. and drift yeah well <laughs> we didn't come here for e46 is sorry Duarte. we came here for e36 e36 yeah I... so far it's looking like a lot of e46 Look at that. Isn't that Mitchie's car? Yes, sir. Mitchie drifts and Mitchie tents. He does it all pretty much. This one. <laughs> Look at these things. Custom yep. headlight things. What is it? Custom. Are these 3D printed? These are 3D printed. What the heck are these? Look at this. Looks like a tree. Bro. That's killer. Okay. Thousand thousand dollars OBO. What? I know what I got. No. Oh, get out of here, bro. I'll print them out myself. <laughs> All right, so this is another get in and drift missile car. Unfortunately, I'm bringing you all the missile cars today. There's not much clean options. Uh, this is a turbo M52 uh, on a Link ECU. It's more of a grassroots style build, so it just has modded knuckles, all the weight taken out of it possible. Um, a working CX racing kit with the upgraded working. turbo. Working, no cracked manifold. With the eBay whiskey. No, it's, it's, it's got the full, it's full budget build, but it's, it's running like, 10 to 12 pounds of boost on E85 probably makes, you know, 400 and some change. Uh, S52 cam, M52, re-ringed bottom end for, go for boost. Uh, so it basically just gaps the stock rings a little bit more. Stock engine, MLS head gasket, ARP head studs. Mm. This one's on the more expensive side. Probably seen it on Marketplace. All right, Stinky's definitely not going to keep up with that. Nah, so do so you have anything that's a little bit like stock? So what you're looking for is like a bone stock, missile e36 it's going to be a compound car right yeah basically we want something to smash into stinky with all right well then right behind you we have a oh how do we skip that 325i i don't know i didn't even see it here 
This is. You said 325i. Yes, what this what is year? Three, three, this uh, is this Vanos? This is a 1994 or 95. Bumper. Bro, the yeah, one the one piece headlights though. 325. Yeah, this is as race car as it gets. Pop the hood. Oh, what's under the hood? Woo! Dude, what the heck's going on here with all the... So, he clearly didn't buy his fittings and feed lines from Drift HQ, and that's where yeah. he messed up. And he tried to rewire. Bro, this wait. is all previous owner uh, mess. That I'll, hold it, I'll hold he it. He brought okay. the car here for a Diag, and I told him, look... Bro, is this, is yeah. this a fitting welded he, to he stop brazed. fuel? Yeah. I already, brazed? Not welded? I, I think it was brazed. I found three other attempts in the car as I was cleaning it out the other day. So, yeah, he was he was definitely learning. I mean, this is cool, you know? Yeah. Heat management. Oh, no, not the crunchiness. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Funk Motorsports yeah, said, the say, crunch. Man. That's what happens when you don't buy Funk. Basically, where we left off with this car is he was having a wiring or fueling issue. Don't know. Car made it here. I told him that what he has done to this engine harness and fuel system has been so mutilated to where it just needs to revert back to stock. So this car is a... In theory, per perfect starter car, perfect missile car. It has a lot of good, you know, mods here and there. It I just see, needs Mishimoto, exactly Mishimoto radiator, Mishimoto fan, which he should have just left the clutch fan. But I know it has the ECS good. tuning, you know, coils headers. which are debatable. It has the shorty headers and it has the CNC. What is the CNC? Seventy-one, 71 CNC oh, really? seventy-one angle kit. That's cool. Yeah, it has like so their. So actually drifted it before, or no? He, it, this was or a an case, attempt. This was a case of I'm having wiring issues, so I'm gonna spend money on every single part. Yeah. And just work on it and work on it and not chase the actual issue at hand. So this car has rear subframe, all bushings done, um, 391 diff, I believe, sway bar kits. So it has like Engine a lot of goodies underneath. Ready. It just doesn't run. By the time Stinky has all his upgrades, we should be able to fix this. How can we not get this one? It's the twin. Look at this bumper though. Yeah. This is a spy. Who this gets is, this? Stinky this or one this? One. Being that this becomes Stinky's twin. We have What's to get the plan. This one. Is this like a tandem car? Is this like a donor car? We got two cars, equal power. And we'll get on each other's door, have fun. Like it, it's like one of those things. Everybody's just sitting there watching everybody else have fun. Let's get two of them and then end this for good. So what's the price, Brian? Oof. On this hunk of junk, I think Adam wanted a couple other like uh, little exterior pieces for Stinky, but that's not included. I mean, if you want to get this out of here for fifteen hundred right now, I'm. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. What do you think, Joel? <laughs> they ain't worth that. Uh, These are those low uh, baller guys. I've seen you on marketplace. <laughs> I know. We we are the ones that hit you in the morning with the five hundred bucks. But no, I have no cut, shame cut. with Brian. Oh, literally, he tells me a price, no, and like, Brian, Brian, get out of here. He, 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 he <laughs> it's takes not even good 10 care of yet. us. It does have a lot of good parts, so I'm gonna give you that, like what we would have spent. So let's say a thousand bucks. Yeah. You're if good? you guys are gone, you got the trailer. You got the trailer right now. Let's do it. We okay. always bring the trailer. And a cash. Lock and loaded. So I told him to clean up both bays, but I didn't tell him what we're bringing him today, so. I mean, it's a lot cleaner than Adam's. <laughs> a lot cleaner. A Look lot at that cleaner. body line, bro. I know. He's minty. Too bad we're gonna fuck it all up. Oh, it's got a little bolt-on angle kit, a little PMC knuckle adapter on it. No, it's oh. CNC oh no, that's a whole CNC 71. Look at that. Oh, this exhaust system is sweet. Sweet, right? It's just made out of flex pipe, but oh, look at that. We got subframe bushings done. Love to see that. Saving me a whole lot of work. So that means I don't really have to do anything to it, right? Oh, mm. uh, <laughs> what, what's the, what's the problem? There's a catch outside of it. Oh man, just no. this right here is already concerning. The jumped relay oh, no, that's thing. Fine. You should have seen my 350Z. So good news, bad news. Try, over try to do whatever he was trying to do with this car. So he ended up trying to make his own fuel system. And you know, good old BMWs just leave their fuel system alone. We just have to do fuel stuff on it? Hopefully. Okay. A little bit of wiring, a little bit of fuel. Yeah, he said something about the wiring, but I don't I mean, know. It's missing a relay over here. Which would be the fuel pump? I Which feel like best case scenario in this car is just take it out, put another one in. Instead of trying to figure out what he did, because who knows what the hell he cut on here. Look, there's wires cut up. 
Yeah, there's, there's nothing things. plugged into the MAF. Well, I mean, that's pretty standard BMW practice, right? Just unplug the MAF. You've got a big boy MAF Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a 330 MAF. Injectors. All right, Chris, ready to catch on fire. Yeah. Aren't, aren't you German? Yeah. Yeah, you can fix this. Yeah, German engineering. Not a fan the of this. one they, German guy that doesn't like to work on German cars. Yeah, you know why? Because we fix the problems with BMWs by... Only thing we keep Spell BMWs that, yeah. is keep the transmission, if it's a ZF. Other than that, just throw the rest out. She feels really smooth. Yeah. The trans is... Love it. Great. This is the car that all of us get to share. Love that. You share, Cricket shares. You go run and you call outs, stuff. baby. They're oh, waiting yeah. on the call outs. I'm ready. Call I'm ready. Somebody, call Johan out. If anybody knows how to drive a low powered BMW, it's this guy. Yeah. And Joel, too. <laughs> call out Joel. Who? Who? Oh, cares? yeah. Oh, let's, let's go, go. baby. No, oh. call out Cricket. <laughs> I want to remember yeah. the oh, battle. Oh, yeah, we got to do a battle. Now yeah. we got the Cricket battle. We got to do a battle. We borrow Adam's car, and then, you know. Well, you know, I don't want to hear any excuses from him, so we'll just do one battle, and then we'll trade cars, and we'll battle again. Mm. That way there's no excuses. We'll be like, oh, well, you got the good one, and this and that. You know, I don't want to hear it. This thing looks a lot different than the Facebook listing. Right? It does now. I'm fired up by the headers. That's going to sound sick. We couldn't wait. We already started tearing into it. Like, it came full of, look, look. Has a lit, all the parts that are on there. Like, look like, at that oh, head. Dude, look at the oh, 3D, 3D printed headlights. These go on your other pro car. Look at them. <laughs> so, this thing should be a pretty good competitor. Exactly. So now we'll have two, two cars that we can all share. What is the... Nitrous? Look. It came with a bottle? Oh god, that's not a good sign. Don't show this we shit. We can't play fair games over here. We can't play fair. <laughs> What's up, Sean? No, Sean. <laughs> Y'all are not putting nitrous. What's up? Does it run? It needs a starter. We're working on that. Right? Yeah, we're working. The interior's not too bad, huh? Yeah, it's all gonna get ripped out. How's the rust? It's non-existent. This is a clean shell. <sighs> Wait, we can't leave this one good? Bro, but no. Like, but bro, God. look. Wait. <laughs> Look at the doors. Look how nice these are. No dents, no nothing. I thought you were about to say, look, they don't shut properly. No, they open properly, too. Nice. Yeah, and all four of them work. It's crazy. No more trying to get this thing it as a smells baby good. Right like, it smells like BMW. I did a sewage drip. We'll go with the good and the bad. So, the good. Subframe bushings, div bushings, bunch of cool stuff, axle spacers oh, done. Light subframe, why haven't I thought of that? Light subframe, light no. exhaust. Yeah, yeah. Wait, and then did this they is weld the, bad. the chassis? This is what, what? we're doing. No, uh, yeah, they did do subframe reinforcements. Wow. So this really? whole thing yeah, is look. like. They welded yeah, it. They did the whole Do we have up. anything left to weld in the other car? Mm. Yeah, the chassis. I mean, honestly, if we're looking at these right? welds, we say that they welded the subframe, but the amount that's actually doing anything is probably pretty minimal. Yeah. Chris from Factory, so, yeah. they just glued They them forgot on. this side. Donnie, <laughs> look at this. These they, are loose. I just, uh, Justin had a bunch of camera on it. Huh. We got to set it down and do a little yeah, bit. I've never seen this before. So this is the stuff Air they boat. use on airboats, bro. Really? Yeah. It works great. Easy. Cherry bomb. I bet bro. it sounds cool. And then <laughs> some sweet. Leave that. JB Weld no, on there as well. This. Why would we take it Look at the exhaust. Like, I don't know what paint is. Is it normally this long? Yeah. It's flange from right there. I love it. Good call. Yeah. Fuck bitches with this. Dude, yeah. this thing will <laughs> fuck rocks. Like, it'll take anything. That Same was the main reason. I'm pretty excited that they're both once I saw white, this, bro. Yo, once yeah. I saw yeah, this, I was like, both cars really gotta have it. Yeah. It's yeah. such oh, a huge advantage. It? Yeah. You can back in, like, really? you can yeah. do crazy shit with this. Imagine in the rain, bro. We could do fuck you shit. We could do fuck you shit in the drive, bro. I mean, you gotta be a driver. Well, well, well tire right. pressure right here. So, just to be clear, by the way, this car started because I wanted the bumper for that car, and then we wound up with the whole car. I literally was like, oh, I want the bumper. And I was like, oh, I kind of want the hood too. Cause I was like trying to make that car look complete. I was like, can I buy the trim off it? And he's like, well, you can get the whole car with the engine and the drivetrain. That's what always happens. Remember, that's what happened with that car. That's how we got that car. Yeah, I didn't even want it though. Yeah, but, but now, I like it, it said. now look what it started. It's, nice. it's missing like 90% of the trans bolts. But you it's only, only the, the small ones. ones at the bottom. You don't need those. He said in the ad that it's mostly just the smaller ones at the bottom and that we don't need them. Fair enough. I wish we could just fucking go party right, right, right now. after it right now. Yeah, this is like, yeah, I'm excited now. Yeah, work just got a lot more exciting over here. It's gonna be, end of the days, every day is just gonna be like, let's go. All right, so this car is a good example to teach you guys to kind of simplify your diagnostic process. This thing came in and we already knew that the starter didn't work. So we tried jumping power to it and all that thinking it was maybe a signal issue, but it ended up just being the starter was locked up. So we put another starter in it. And we started trying to diagnose why we weren't getting spark. Our fuel pumps weren't turning on. So somebody obviously has messed with wires and stuff in here. So essentially the problem was we don't have our 
constant power going to our relays. So where the power actuates actually doesn't trigger anything. The relay clicks, but there's no power going through it. So now we figured out how to get the ECU to turn on. Next step is to get the fuel pump to turn on because now we have spark. And then we got to wire up a starter signal wire because also something in here is not allowing the starter to get signal. We tried bypassing the DME and all that and it's still not doing it. So I am just going to run a wire from the ignition switch straight to this black and yellow wire. And that wire is our starter signal. So if you jump power to that little guy, cranks the engine. We're going to make this thing run today one way or another. Might not be the approved BMW manual method, but it's going to run. That's all we really care about today. You did check that there was oil in this thing, right? Yeah, there's oil. Okay, cool. Yeah, power probes are awesome because not only can you jump power or jump ground to whatever it is you're trying to work on, but also whenever you test ports, it'll tell you that has 12 volts, this has a ground, so it's good. It's a very awesome diagnostic tool. Also, if you're ever building like wiring harnesses for your car and you need to figure out what does what, this allows you to jump stuff without like burning up wires by like hooking it up directly to a battery because this has an internal circuit breaker. Go. <laughs> Cricket with the intake backfire. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, she wants it. It's the German guy making it. <laughs> the German guy made it work. It's in your blood, sire. <laughs> Jordan just works from all parts of the world, brings his little chip burner, and just, how's it go, BBD Bob? All here slinging tunes. Yeah, he already gave us a few. Cricket wanted one, but he's OBD2. Yeah, OBD2, he didn't bring the OBD2 stuff. He's but here's cool. the problem, the free tunes come with verbal. There's no choice. <laughs> Whatever, I got, oh, okay. I got stock muffler. So you I don't even hear a, it. How do you have a verbal tune? Yeah. You don't even hear it. Yeah, a little bit. So uh, you just open up a file and yeah, then Yeah, there's a library of one million tunes. And Joel wants 21 pound M50? M50. Crazy burble? Crazy burble. I already prepped and everything. Thing. Everybody out here getting their hands dirty. We got Owen in here changing dips. We got booze out here pouring water all over everything. You son of not on the coil packs, you best. <laughs> what do you do? What? Oh man, come on. That's not where the water Whoops. goes, booze. Oh, cap it, cap it, cap it. Ah, bro, it's bubbling. So back in the day, like nine years ago, we used to take apart BMWs and sell parts and Drift HQ first started. Duarte, Poppy, loves popping airbags anytime we take them out of cars because you're not allowed to sell them resell them to customers so the only thing left to do would be to blow them up so we used to blow up all sorts of shit. case in point we're gonna blow up a bottle of tea everyone but john pro has safety goggles uh, i have safety squints on but who's got safety squints he's going for it instantly safety Poppy. safety first Close donnie who's gonna flip it who's gonna oh flip god it? it's, it's, a, like a, it's a charge about this big it's not even that big it's like a drop like less than a raindrop worth mm -hmm. but it's enough to explode and do that so very dangerous science is cricket you'll catch it you'll catch it if it works yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna shoot this way though we'll see if it's all inverted whoa oh, holy oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, <laughs>
chip? Yeah. She has no sauce compared to that one. This is what happens when you touch cars. Don't touch cars, kids. Don't touch leave cars. Them leave shits them, alone. Leave them stuck. Wow, it smells really bad. You know that? Yeah, are you burning? You can't overheat if your temperature gauge doesn't work. That does You smell that burning? No. That hose is gonna pop off. Hey, you like your face? You should move. Yeah, who the f found this thing? The audacity. Yeah, whoever found this car? Sorry. Donnie, just go ahead and unscrew that real quick and I'll bleed all the air out. Honestly, though, this is a Yo, great, leave it open. This is a great yeah, example of why it's better to buy a stock car versus one that's been tampered with. When you see fuel lines have been fucked with and valve covers have been off. So aside from the overheating problem, the thoughts of it being 315s instead of a 391, yeah, we're gonna change the tires. Oh, she's coming. You're doing great, dude. Oh, oh my god. god. Holy shit. Wow. What chip? What chip do you want? <laughs> oh, like there's black, so much black, black, black smoke. It's lighter on that thing. It's like a diesel swap. It smells like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 It smells like that. Is there any trick to start it? Are you all the way floored? Maybe it turns the injectors off on your floor? No floor, no floor, a little bit floor. Yeah, that's, that's, that makes a lot. That makes a lot. That's all I needed. And then you need any more gas in the beginning. You need to push. They already had enough gas to start it. Just, just for the hell of it, let's go to the lift building. Let's take both cars. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just top a mountain first and see if they yeah. go the same speed. Yeah, let's go. All right, right now. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same, right? It's the same. Hey, know what it's supposed to be like. No. It. So we know. Fix the car. Then we'll fix no, it. No, we fixed the car now. I think we should know. What's wrong with you guys? So can we uh, have an engine since we need an engine? Yeah, uh, so you wanted to harness an engine. Uh, you Let's have go. 15 people around the phone eagerly anticipating this price because we all want to drive this car. We're gonna blow <laughs> we'll, that we'll put another four, another uh, 50 on it, so make that 400. Um, Duarte knows how to negotiate. Come yeah, in. yeah, we need to Are you help. guys yeah, talking to Brian? Brian. Yeah. Brian. Only, What'd you sell us, Brian? Oh, there he goes. The shitty part is pulling it. You guys want to help me pull it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, fucking we'll 400 dollars. How much? With the harness and the injectors. How much? 400 with the harness and injectors. Hey, right? for oh, that deal though, does he bring the car to us? Yeah, bring the car over oh. here and we'll pull it. Oh, fuck that. That's <laughs> easy for you. Can Drive we, in 30 we, minutes. Can we bring the car here to pull it? Can we put it on a trailer yeah, and bring it here to pull the engine here instead of there? <laughs> All right, hold on. We're going to console as a team. I'm, I'm going to mute for a second. Do, okay. we, do we think we think that's a good deal? <laughs> $400? There's yeah. way more okay. of us. Oh, us that having to pull it, is that? Yeah, we could just take it. Did you calculate the man hours and the labor? Because it might, we might honestly be probably done that shit 20 times. I, I know the guy who's replaced a lot of B36 engines. He's standing right there with a the camera. Should, we, should we make a spreadsheet to see if it's really a better deal or if we should have him pull it? <laughs> make a Venn diagram said, at this yeah, point. <laughs> yeah. 200, right, 200 store credit. Oh, you can, you can unmute him. Yeah. So, yep. the general consensus is... 350. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, no FaceTime, face though. We'll see him. Yeah, you should FaceTime. We'll face see him. We'll see him. You can need to see. You need to see. Sean's just angry by saying, just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. Hello. Yo. Look at all you these you see all the disappointed guys here waiting for that thing to rip and then it doesn't? That's what we get. What does it do? On the bright side, it doesn't do shit. It wasn't even a burnout. No, but the the radiator hoses are like rock hard, even though the car is like not overheating, so it's just pushing water. 
I would say 200 and we return the other engine back. And we found Risky yeah, so Devil. Oh yeah, we could trade it. We could trade the engine. You could put that Risky other engine what? in the green car and then you could Devil. sell the green car oh. as, like a did, like yeah, as a running car. as a running car. Hello? Where's the car at? She was smoking oh, okay, so bad we put it back. It's like two seconds away from blowing up. You know, think about the long-term business here, right? Because if the car works, we'll break more things, we'll buy more things, right? Exactly. That's how it works. Yeah, he knows. That's kind of what is he, is he at E36 Junker or something? BMW. Yeah. Oh, perfect. BMW. There you go. Yeah. 300. Well, I mean, <laughs> we've already been, we're on like a daily basis now at this point with all these parts. Yo, stinky compared to that car is like night and day. Crazy how good that the, the solid M50 is. That thing doesn't even do burnouts. Can we go get that shell tomorrow? The vert? Yeah, just come get it. We'll trade for parts. No money involved. Come get it. Come get come it, he get says. It. Does the vert, do we need the metal from the vert? <laughs> yeah. If it has it? Yeah. Is it, a, is it a coupe? Is it a coupe? What? The, it's a coupe convertible. It's a vert. <laughs> I like convertible. It. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. We'll make use of it. We need it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody say bye to Brian. Thank you, bye. Brian. No, no bye, guys. Bye. We are on our way to pick up a new motor for the sketchy car because it wasn't doing too good yesterday. And we need to get that thing going because we need proper sedan tandems. This is her. This is her. Another donor. So, yeah, not only are we getting a motor, but we're getting another whole car. Yeah, I figured it'd be a little easier to just get rid of this thing because it's kind of been sitting here and everyone's like, why is this thing still outside in the customer parking? So I was basically just waiting for Duarte to need another motor from me. He used to do this a lot. I think those are M3 tips because the non M tips are like the really stubby small ones. So that's like an M3 muffler. So price just went up. Triple tested because you know you got to check alternators three times. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, not for another M50. Unless it's your fault. I said that was pretty successful, right? Very successful. Went really easy. And I didn't even have to swap the tires, they did it for me. So apparently we have Donnie over here taking apart the fun car. How did you get dragged into this? I got no clue. <laughs> I don't know anything about BMWs, so this would have already been done if someone else did it. But it's been Donnie, so I've been six hours of taking this thing apart. It's good, Donnie. Once you actually do something, you know, you learn how to do it. I for the next the other time. one back in. For the next time, you know. So when you're done with this motor, you're gonna drop it off in my driveway, right? Sure, I already so, compression tested it. So I can live with all its friends at, nine, at 60 and 90 compression? As long as you know it's got no compression. I'm so proud of you, Donnie. Hey, you I, did, you've never done this before. You didn't even probably open up Google or anything. I really didn't. Didn't even watch a YouTube video. Here he goes, pulls out his first M50. I'm so proud of you, Donnie. Hey, we're one step closer to having a good car again. So yesterday, Donnie removed our mooring anchor, AKA our blown motor, head gasket went in it, cylinders uh, four and five decided to leave the chat. So while we were gone yesterday, Donnie pulled out the old motor and magically another E36 appears. Joel's with dreams. Yeah, Joel's just living his best life right now. He's had four E36s in this shop in the past three days. So we have a good motor in here. Chris is about to compression test it, see if it's in fact good or not before we rip it out and put it into this one. And then we're gonna take all the cool little bits and bobs off of that one, like the headers, the nice valve cover, and whatever else we can find in it. Supposedly there's cams in there, I don't know. We're gonna look and see if there are, maybe do that. Uh, and then slap it in this car to get it running because we need a drift redemption because the last time we set this car up, we didn't know the motor was toast. And Duarte went to go drift against Adam or Sean and it couldn't drift. In so, first gear it could drift. It could, it could drift in first gear for about two donuts and then it would overheat and shut off. 
So we need a drift redemption. We're going to get this running. So the next video, you'll see this thing ripping around. Um, hopefully, Tarte beating the pants off a boot. So yeah. stay tuned. I'm about to find out. It does work. That's a stock ass clutch. It's a stock ass clutch. All right, so we have the front end of the car off. Everything disconnected from the top. No problem. One of these snap, and then the other two, you get stuck here or stuck here. You can't get the socket on straight. So where we're at right now is dealing with crusty, rusty studs and nuts. Yeah, we blasted with PV blaster, and we can't get them off. They're just snapping, and they're shitting away. So I might just take the other blaster that I have and just cut them bitches off. All right, so quick update. We have the motor out of the car. There's a whole bunch of fluid everywhere. But we're good. These are all just coming right out. See? It wants the headers. Chris was skeptical, very skeptical with how much rust was on this car and didn't think that these headers would come out as easy see as this, they are. Just one finger. Boom. He loved to Dude. see it. Danny, before we unbolt that transo, we got to unbolt the torque converter. Otherwise, when we pull yeah, it, it's going to just get loose. Nice. Nice cleaning situation, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like clutch. It's the best, the fuck? Come on, baby! eBay! It's like yeah. tension. Stock BMW, boys! Sucks. Lined up where I think I want to. Stay away. Right there. And through the magic you know, of Hollywood, the there is a new motor in the car. Just like Brand that. new used. Brand new used. So we got yeah. Smelly's 2.0 engine. She gonna be all right? She gonna be good. So, so Mr. BMW expert right here. Nope, none of that. Both of them. Here you go. Hold it. I'm gonna jump the starter wire. First oh. hoping that this thing doesn't knock. I see is an airbag on a dash. Duarte with some wires and buck We connectors. had a tough week. We need some fun. I feel very confident that it'll work. Lazardi, what are you doing here? Fixing shit. Bro, you weren't here all week, bro. You just come out of nowhere when a car's actually running. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got a working car, that's for sure. The yes. other one is as fast as Stinky, though. Ah, uh, that's the question. I think that one's got more grip. <laughs> it look it's grippy. grippy yeah. <laughs> it goes. You saw yeah. what was going in the RPM. Yeah.
<laughs> it's going in and out, but just keep it, keep it floored. It's not stinky. <laughs> it needs work. Okay. Here, here. Coming. Oh, well Driver mod over I here. I think they're about the same. I'm happy. Just that tape that. Didn't even move. That's perfect. I was watching it the whole time. Oh, Hell sick. yeah, dude. Let me get ripped. All right, Donnie. So the terms and conditions were turn a wrench and turn a lap. My guy, you swap the whole engine. Send it till the car doesn't no, live no, no, anymore. No, no, no. Let's it needs go. to be driven tomorrow. All right. So I'll do a few laps. Is it the end of the video? I think it's the end of the video. All right, so let's we go. Can make some Just like the other car. There. I think when Dorothy had it, it had like brand new tires. Yeah. And the fuel pump was a little clogged. She's not clogged anymore. And lower tire pressure. All right, so, to. so tomorrow's gonna be a battle? Battle. Damn, y'all got the camera dials on this rig. Who aligned this shit? Damn, not even a tree. 